Beetlejuice sign is up and running. Looks pretty cool. And then if we go in the back, it's all controlled right here. We have a little Arduino. This controls, this clicking sound is what controls the main light. And then this is a voltage adapter I stole out of a cigarette lighter to go from 12 volts to 5 volts. And that controls the whole side. Pretty neat. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And off to the side of that, we have the Beetlejuice tombstone. So how is this whole thing wired up? Well, I installed ping pong balls to capture and diffuse the light. Each one has two LEDs in it, which are 1.8 volts. You combine those together and you get 3.6 volts. And I'm supplying them with five volts of power, which requires a resistor in between them. One side of the LED, the negative, is connected to a ground wire that loops around the whole arrow. The other side, the positive, gets the power, which is triggered by the Arduino. These are connected in sets of two. So I have two LEDs over here and two LEDs over here, and they're all connected as one, so they light up at the same time. And then if we look down here, these are the power wires that bring the power. So each set of these has its own power wire. And here's the power wire that goes up to number 11. That's all by itself. And then that power wire leaves out of here and goes all the way around through this black wire loom and makes its way around and eventually ends up over at the Arduino in the far corner there. All right. Over here we have the backlit for the sign. These are just LED strips that you would normally buy from like Amazon, and you can cut them the length of a pair of scissors. And then you just use jumper wires to connect the positive and the negative from one set to the other. I just space my wires out a little bit and then put a little hot glue to secure it. A lot of times the tape for these isn't very good, so I also added blobs of hot glue to help hold the, um, the lights in place. So over time, if they start to lift up, hopefully they won't go anywhere. All right, welcome to the brains of the operation. Our main controller is this Arduino Mega. The Mega just means it has more pins than a normal Arduino. Arduino, And this puts out 5 volts through these wires, and that controls the arrow lights that chase each other. This is the solenoid, and that controls the backlit part of the sign because that runs on 12 volts. So 12 volts goes into here, then the Arduino sends a signal which trips the relay, which then turns on the backlit sign. I also had a problem because the outside uh, chase lights around the sign itself was, was pulling too many amps for the Arduino. I think the Arduino does like 400 milliamps and this was pulling a lot more than that. So the Arduino kept shutting down. So what I did was I ripped apart a cigarette lighter adapter for plugging in like your cell phone and charging it. And that's right here. And this will convert 12 volts DC down to 5 volts DC, which is what the LEDs run on. And then I had to use a transistor with those. I could have used more solenoids like this, but they're very loud. So if we disconnect and take a look, let me move right down over here. Right here we have a transistor. All right, there's another transistor over here. And then there's a third one way back over here. All right, so the power comes in. This is the main power to those. And then these are the wires that trigger each transistor, the blue ones. And these blue wires go straight to the Arduino, and when they get a signal from the Arduino, they will then send power to the outside chase lights. All right, let's hook this thing up. Welcome to my Arduino code. I'm gonna go over this real fast. This section is the timing for all the lights. I put it up top. So right here it shows that the arrows will come on for uh, 250 milliseconds. The outside, how fast they chase, how long the sign comes on, how long the sign goes off. Now, since lights are chasing, I used arrow arrays. So right here are all the pins for the arrow lights. And they light up two, three, 
four, five, and that creates a chase effect. And we have 11 sets of LEDs in the arrow. And each set of LEDs has four. So there's 44 LEDs in just the arrow alone. And then this array is for the outside LEDs. There's only three. They go one, two, three, one, two, three, and repeat. And it creates a chase effect around the outside of the sign. All right. If we scroll down, this section animates the arrow. It uses the internal clock, the milliseconds of the Arduino itself, and it checks the time. And if a certain amount of time has passed, then the arrows will add one to the LED. So first we'll start with LED number two, run through the code, and if a certain amount of time has passed, then it will add one and light up LED number three, run through the code. If a certain amount of time has passed, then it'll light up number four. And this happens instantly so it runs through this code many many times a second and that's how you get the animated effect same thing here but this is for the outside light using the same formula and then down here this is to turn the sign switch on or off basically it says if uh right here if a certain amount of time has passed set the sign to low or off um if a certain amount of time has passed then you can turn the sign back on and it just repeats on off and then down here is the main loop, and this is where you put the codes to run. So run the arrow code, run the outside code, or run the switch code. And it runs all those at the same time. So it sounds pretty simple if you're an Arduino person, but it was very difficult for me. Right there, we get closer, it's going to open. Oh man, that was pretty neat. Oh, and up here on the ceiling, we have a sandworm. It goes all the way up into the ceiling. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Sandworm complete with blinking eyes. Oh, how creepy. And we keep traveling this way. And behind me we have the Beetlejuice tombstone. Oh my gosh. That's where I live in the evenings when my services are not needed. And how you know where my tombstone is located? Wouldn't be complete without a Beetlejuice sign. Oh, I'm right here. Right there. Oh, and over here is my favorite. It's my girl. It's my girl right here. It's only half of her. That's okay, because the other half is right here, babe. Oh, yeah. Here's the other half of my babe. Oh, man. Is she a sweetheart? She is one sexy beast. Look at that, and yeah, some magician had a rough time with her. And then of course, if you're going to get married, you got to have yourself an awesome fireplace. Complete with a priest. <laughs>